Good morning, may the Lord bless you greatly. Know that your day will be a blessing. Today everything will be all right. May your day be a day of peace, a day of great protection, a day of good news, a day filled with the providences of the Lord, a day of prosperity. May the Lord be in control of your life today. May the Lord enlighten your steps. May the Lord give you much wisdom for you to solve all the problems that are difficult. And may God direct you in every step you take this week. In this prayer I want to talk to those who are here on the daily prayer for you channel for the first time. I ask you to prepare a glass of water, because I will consecrate. And at the end of this prayer here I will be giving a direction. And I'm sure the Lord will bless you. The Lord will give you victory. I'm sure it's going to be a week full of testimonies. For the glory of the Lord. Today I will pray with you Psalm 23. And also Psalm 91, two powerful psalms from the Holy Bible. For God to bless you. So that God may prosper your life. To bless you with days of prosperity. That the Lord may come and take you out of every valley. And may lead you to green pastures. That from now on your cup will overflow. I even have a special request for you. I want you to write now in the comments below this video. Your first name and powerful phrase. My cup will overflow. My cup will overflow. When the Holy Bible speaks and my cup will run over. Is referring to the person's life being blessed in all areas. Not just in one area. But in all areas of your life. And it will certainly happen. All the people who write power quotes in the comments. Are declaring them to God. Then write in the comments of this video your first name and phrase. My cup will overflow. I would also like to ask you to help us by clicking the like button. Because whenever you like one of our prayers. You are notifying YouTube that this prayer is helping you. And that he can pass on to other people. This is very important. Because by doing this you will help us reach and help thousands of people. Before praying, I also want to talk to you who are here for the first time. Welcome to this great prayer family called Daily Prayer for You. I always say that here on this channel. Here we don't talk about religion, here we talk about God. I comment that each person has their own religion. And we have to respect every people's religion. Therefore, here I speak of God. God is one and in God we are all brothers. Be sure of something very important. If you're here it's because God has a very beautiful purpose in your life. So right now I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel. It's totally free, you don't pay anything for it. And this is the best way for you to receive the next prayers that will help you a lot. Just below the video you can see a button with the word subscribe in red letters. Click this. Subscribe button. Soon after click on the bell button that will appear. And to finish you must click on the word. All. Because by subscribing to the channel you will start receiving all our prayers as soon as they are available here on YouTube. Be sure that from today I am adopting you in my prayers. Today I want to give you a special recommendation. Related to your health. I usually explain that after God. One of the most important things for our life is our health. And do you understand the reason? Because without health we cannot take care of the people we love. Without health we cannot take care of our family. After God, health is the most important item in our life. And the Holy Bible says in the book of Exodus, in chapter 23 and verse 25 it says, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. What you are talking about is this. For you I will be the God who heals, the doctor of doctors. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Do you remember that in other prayers I explained to you, that the bread represents the Lord Jesus, and the water represents God's Holy Spirit? When bread and water are consecrated together, 
They become the supper of strengthening. But we need to understand that if separated, the bread represents the Lord Jesus, and the water represents the Holy Spirit of God. Know that water is a very powerful element of deliverance and healing when you do it under a prophetic act with a lot of faith. And today I am sure that the Lord for you will be the God who heals. Today you will separate a glass of water. I will pray asking God to put the grace of healing, the grace of deliverance and health. And when we finish saying the prayer you will drink part of this glass with water. And if you want to share it with your children too, and with your family members who live in your home. I ask that God be the God of healing for you and your family members. I'm sure that starting today you will have many testimonies to tell. I believe that during today's prayer God will touch your health. It will touch your body and bring the healing you are needing. Do you believe it? Do you receive this blessing? Now let's pray the two most powerful Psalms in the Bible the mighty Psalm 23 and the Psalm 91. And then I will administer the blessing of healing over your life. Because our God is the doctor of doctors. Prepare your water and leave it close to you during our prayer. Let's pray. I want you to repeat this prayer with me with great faith. You can just repeat it mentally or if you prefer you can repeat it by saying the words. Close your eyes and pray with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Beloved God Almighty, Doctor of Doctors, under prophetic acts I ask the Lord again, Consecrate this water that your son and your daughter prepared. And this time I ask the Lord my Father, put in the water of everyone who is here with me in this prayer, and those who will enter here for the first time at some point. I ask the Lord to consecrate this water with the anointing of healing, because the Lord my God heals, because the Lord my God is the doctor of doctors. And when your children drink this water, may this water be the most powerful medicine possible. Let this water touch that person's body and eliminate any disease that may have reached the lives of your children and that may be making them suffer. May this water be the cure for that person. We believe that the Lord God is healing, that only the Lord is able to free that person. For us we ask you, Father, 
consecrate this water that your son prepared with the most powerful anointing on earth for divine healing to take place by the power of faith. I believe that through this anointing that the Lord will grant. The Lord will eliminate all diseases. The Lord will eliminate all the evil that is in the blood, that is in the organs and life of this person. I believe that your son and daughter will certainly have a great testimony of victory. In Lord Jesus' name, now repeat after me a very powerful phrase. The Almighty God, who offers healing, is present in my life. I believe in the name of the Lord Jesus. And you say Amen and say glory to God. Now listen very carefully to the direction I'm going to give you. I want today. Don't break it. I want you to click the share button below this video. Copy the link and send it to seven people. The number seven is very important and has a lot of strength. Seven represents perfection. Send it to seven people who, just like you, will be very blessed. Surely you will help these people a lot. I'm waiting for you in the next prayer here in this great prayer family called Daily Prayer for You. See also our other prayers here on the channel, you will certainly be very blessed.